Hello, and welcome back to this playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. I am Scutlist, and this episode we will mercifully get to the end of the Atlantica world. We have two more songs to do. We can get started on the first of them just by talking to Sebastian and si and sitting through a cutscene. Sebastian. Oh, uh, oh, well, King Triton wanted him at the palace. I wonder if it's about Ariel. If King Triton finds out what happened, we're in hot water, especially since we kept it a secret. What about Ursula? She disappeared. Well, how's Ariel doing? She's only got until sunset tomorrow, right? Hey, look. Oh. I can't see. So close. There's a part of me that wonders what it would be like if the Kiss the Girls song was a, was a song in Kingdom Hearts 2. But then the smart part of me realizes that'd be another song to have to suffer through and I know better. No sign of Ursula anywhere. I wonder where that sea witch could have gone. Ariel's been crying for a long time. What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see you smiling at me? Where would we walk? Where would we run? If we could hey, stay what's up with all the day in the sun, just you and me. It's Ursula! She, she must have turned herself into that girl! Okay, that's it. can talk. You're the one. The girl who sang to me. Oh, Eric. I wanted to tell you. Of course. It was you. You were the one who, who saved me that night in the storm. Oh, Ariel. I'm sorry I didn't figure it out sooner. You're the one I love. Eric. Not so fast. <gasps> Do you see what I see? <laughs> You're too late. Ah! Ariel! If you didn't quite catch it, Ursula was drawing attention to the fact that it's the sunset of the third day. Never mind that Ursula did kind of rigged it there. Titan's precious little daughter signed a contract. Now, dearie, let's see how beautiful you are when I'm through with you. That contract's no good. Let her go. Excuse me. <sighs> N 
now, now. Even the great King Triton can't go around breaking binding contracts. Why, it just wouldn't do, would it? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some loose ends to tie up. Wait, Ursula. You win. Just promise you'll let my daughter go. But we had a deal. Unless, of course, you're offering to take her place. I'm afraid I have no choice. So, is it just some written r rule that you can't look at the contract as you sign it? <laughs> Seize now! You... you monster! Let him go! Ah! Eric! How dare you! Pitiful, insignificant human! Hey, that's enough! Alright, it's time for a new song. Which means it's time for the microphone to go off for, 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 for the duration of the song. You enjoy the music. I swear I've just begun. It's not over until Ursula has won. That's and right. we're back. Just for the record, I don't care to perfect songs. Just, just getting enough to clear them is enough for me. No. Or did I already say that last episode? Anyway, here's... We're about to have, like, the one only kind of interesting thing about this world. You can have it. The way Eric kills Ursula here 
He throws the trident, it becomes a beam of light and goes through Ursula's chest. At one point, that was actually going to be the way Ursula would die in the, die in the original Disney movie, but they changed it at some points. Uh, if I recall correctly. Please, Ariel. You can come out now. It's okay. Ariel? <gasps> Never mind that Eric should have seen Ur Ursula's fish parts when he swam all the way underwater to attack Ursula. And I'm pretty sure Ursula referred to Ariel as a mermaid at least once during the song. This can't be. I would have told you sooner. To think. Eric, goodbye. I had all that time and I didn't work on my swimming. Huh? Well, I guess it's never too late to learn, right? Will you teach me? Oh, I'd love to. Alright! A uh, new Keyblade, it appears to be a bit more magic focused, and that does not coexist with the way I tend to play. Anyway, while Ursula is defeated, we're not done with this world quite yet. We have one more song to do. And the last time, we're booted out and told to come back after we get something. But we already have Thundaga after we got it after we defeated the boss of the second visit to the Pride Lands. So let's get this to an end. Okay, you know you know the drill. The microphone is going off. Enjoy the song.
And that's it. Atlantica is at last at its end. Let's all take a moment and pray that, Ki that Kingdom Hearts 3 does not have an Atlantica world. is open. What? You gonna go? This is goodbye? I won't do it. We'll never say goodbye. That's right. One, two, three, four. Even and though we're hitting the road, road we're No more singing, please. Which means we are free to come and go. And sing. So no, no more singing. No, we'll come back soon to say hello. Uh, well, I'm, well, we got an upgrade to, bl to our blizzard spell, so I guess that's good. But that takes care of Atlantica. May we never go back there again. But that's, that'll about wrap it up for this episode. Next time, we'll be looking at our new, at new business in Hollow Bastion. We have to bring the space par paranoid scenario to its final conclusion. So until then, I hope you enjoyed this. I can't say I really did. I'll enjoy the next episode, probably. And I'll see you next time.